From camping to dancing and a little snowshoeing thrown in, it's time to get ready for the weekend. And CJ DeVries from GRNow.com is here with a look at what's happening in the weekend rundown. Yes. It looks like it's going to be a festive weekend to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we've got a couple things to be outside. And then if you want to be bundled up inside. There you go. I love too. it. You always have a great choice of everything. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. First one is an indoor one, right? Yeah. So the Grand Rapids Camper Travel and RV Show. And that's happening this weekend. You guys already had some people on talking about yes. it. Yes. Um, if uh, if you wanted RV or if you want to talk about campgrounds, this is the perfect place. They have 13 different dealers with over 300 different <gasps> vehicles there, oh, RVs and things like that. And what's neat is it used to it would take you a couple days if you actually tried to go to all these dealerships. It's going to take you a couple hours in this one space. And you really and what's nice is that like you can go to one dealer and then you can be like okay I like that and then you go down to another and then you start thinking about the questions that you want to ask and maybe you found one that you really liked and it was in the beginning you can circle back around and go back and ask them those questions as well. See exactly. whether or not they have those features. Plus it makes you think about warmer weather if that's what you're into and you want to really think about like summertime and you know. Which I feel like we all do. If, if you're not saying you, you really want it to be summer all year <laughs> round, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, so that's always a good one to go to. Um, and now we've got an exciting new yoga studio, not new, but new to downtown yes. opening. Um, yes. And it's going to be a great place for people to be able to take yoga. It is. So Studio Park, we already love it. There's a theater there. There's a, a great place to go eat. And now you can actually work out at Funky Buddha. So what they're doing this weekend is you get to come in and like, see the new space. They have three classes that will fill up. Believe yes, me, they will. Yes, they do. Um, and if you're not familiar with Funky Buddha, it's like hot yoga. So the room is warmer so that you can actually bend yourself into shapes, mm -hmm. I guess you would say. Yeah, the warmer you are, the more limber you become and you can like stretch further and all that kind of good stuff. That's what's so great about, you know, hot yoga. It is, and then you feel so good when you mm. walk out in the cold weather because mm. <laughs> you're still warm. <laughs> yeah, you're getting that little shock. But yeah, it's gonna be neat to have an option downtown. I know we have some other yoga studios as well, but I think it's just nice to have people uh, to be able to choose different places to go. Well, exactly, we're, we're becoming such a downtown area now. So mm -hmm. it's kind of neat that we have grocery stores now. We have, uh, you know, athletic things that we can go do. It's just, yeah, you, you don't really need to leave downtown anymore. No, you can park your car in the weekend and get it all done. Exactly. All right, last dance juice ball. Tommy turns 50. Yes, yeah, so you're familiar with this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been 10 years, and this is the last dance, meaning uh, this is the last year that they're going to be putting this event on. Juice ball started by um, the, you know celebrating Tommy's birthday, and the juice ball is where you would actually donate juice boxes yep. to a charity, and then you'd get free admission. So um, this year, it's Bissell Pet Foundation that they're going to be donating back to. And every year was a specific theme. This year, you could wear whichever theme you'd like. Oh, so I, love I would it. go like cowboy because that mm -hmm. was one of my that favorite was one year. of my favorites too. I want to squeeze in really fast the Winter Magic Snowshoe and Trails Tour. Yes, Virtue Cider. They're having that this weekend and uh, it's going to be a good time. Mm, yeah, it sure is. Oh, I've always wanted to try snowshoeing and so I love it. Thanks, CJ. Of course, you can find all of these events and more online at drnow.com and we've also put a link online at 13onyourside.com. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.